Hey, what's up, what's up? How you doing? Here I am again. This time, uh, one more time with DTC 700. Yeah, we freshly serviced this device, so I'm ready to test it. Is it gonna play my favorite tapes or not? <laughs> So, so far so good. <laughs> uh, I did have DTC 700 before on my channel, but this time is much is in much better condition and it's working just fine so I decided why not let's record it again and see how it works so I did try to rewind fast forward index all that stuff I have to mention that this that is kinda one of the best Sony's because it's in the full metal mode let's say like that uh, there is a, like a plenty of metal parts inside that Sony decided to switch to plastic in next models which I am not approving <laughs> so this one this unit is very heavy but hey uh, now it's working just fine I try everything, fast forward, rewinding over the tape, stuff like that, indexing, everything. And it's looking very good. Not so much like to... There are no scratches. I don't see any dents or scratch or scuffs. There is one here on this edge. Try to focus on it. <laughs> it's hard, but yeah. So you basically have all the stuff that you have on your remote control. I don't have remote control for the, this device, but you can choose like let's play track number eight. Press play. Um, all stuff will work just fine. All right, let's see. Yeah. Also, if you try to fast forward and suddenly press play like this, puff. It works. I'm using the worst tape for the that. That's 120 minutes tape. I'm testing it with the worst tape, but it's working just fine. Yeah, this is really one good working DTC 700. And as I said, it, it looks good. Yeah, let's see how it goes now. All right. Yes. So yeah, I try everything. I played a lot of other uh, tapes recorded on Vestax Panasonic other sunny units and it seems like this is one very good looking and working unit usually when something is not working you will hear drops distortion stuff like that but if the tape is right if it's not moldy bit because could be a moldy tape or something, bad recorded tape or chewed 
to duct tape or something like that, then the unit can, you know, start to work improperly. It could start working unusually. And anyway, you should be prepared for that. Sometimes you have bad tape. So you're gonna need probably a, a cleaning head tape. So yeah, you can find those on eBay or other websites. Uh, like you need a cleaning tape because sometimes you can solve the issue just playing back the cleaning tape for a 10 or 50 seconds and then try to play your original tape. Uh, it's kind of dust sand dusting your head. It's not good if you think I'm gonna play this tape for a 60 seconds or a minute or two. No, you should only do it step by step, like try with 10 seconds. Then if you, if your dot is not playing anything, then try it with 20 seconds and stuff like that. Uh, because it's really sending your head. Uh, the proper way would be opening the cover using the stripes they are specially designed and manufactured for the VCR and digital audio tape recorders, heads, drum heads uh, and you just put some isopropyl alcohol on it and clean it but the other solution would be like uh, some like a clear paper stuff that will not uh, leave any residue or anything on the head so yeah I mean this one is working just fine and I'm very satisfied and it can play a lot of different tapes and that's why I decided like why why not why why not record one more time one Sony digital audio tape cassette deck <laughs> tape deck they call it tape deck because if you say cassette that means it's analog but this is digital all right take care